Shalom. Shalom. Uh, we're the members of Great Millstone, Los Angeles, currently teaching with the Small Sanctuary in Inglewood. I'm the brother Manatazak. I'm the brother Gabor. Brother Shemai Ba. And I'm the brother Yura. And uh, before we get started, we want to give all glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakodash. Of course, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule up through the Spirit. Right. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect who are continuing to fight and teach this thing of ours in truth. It's sincerity. That's right. Uh, as I said in our opening statement, we're uh, Great Millstone, Los Angeles, uh, uh, GMS Inglewood. And uh, today we're going to do a spiritual collab going into the hot topic of the week, which is basically uh, show yourselves men. Mm. Okay. And that's very important to uh, to keep in mind when you come into this thing, because as a, uh, as our uh, elder, uh, Elder uh, Mawadazak, who's the head of GMS Los Angeles, one of his famous quotes is before you can become a man of the Lord, you have to become a man first, mm. okay? And what that goes into is putting off the weak nature, okay? Uh, 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 studying to show thyself approved, examining thyself. There's a whole uh, plethora of things you have to do to come correct and serve the Lord correctly, okay? And one of those major things is to show yourself a man. So right. without further ado, we're going to get into the scriptures, get into these precepts, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And I love that you said that. And it begins really with the mentality before anything else. I don't give a damn. You could be brawlic and big and look like a man, <clears throat> but in, inside you soft as hell. You like a woman. Right. Go ahead, I. Right. This is the book of Second Address, chapter 14, beginning at verse 14. And it reads, let go from the mortal thoughts. Ooh. Cast away the burdens of men, of man. Put off now the weak nature. Hey, you can start at 13, actually. Because that's what a man does before he might go to war, he might die. He has to put his house in order. He has to rule it with gravity. Like, he may not return from this war. He got to get his next son in order. You know what to do. And you you lead your brethren. You, that's what Yahweh did with the disciples. He told Peter, hey, Satan want to have you, man. But you got to be strong, and I have prayed for you. And once you are uh, converted, reprove thy brethren. And get them on the level. He put it everything in order, just like right. a father with his sons. Like, hey, man, y'all know what to do. Go ahead, yeah, I. Your house begins with you first. Yep, right. yep. This is a second address, chapter 14, beginning at verse 13. It reads, now, therefore, set thine house in order Ooh. and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. He said, reprove thy people. It take a man to do that, man. Right. Woman ain't going to yeah. do it, a damn child. They, they, ain't, they ain't permitted to do that. Men did that. The prophets of old were men. And they speak directly to you. And if you couldn't handle it, if you if you if you can't swim, you bound to drizzle. Uh, your ass is through. And that's what is uh, uh, wrong with a lot of our people, especially dudes that come into the truth. They never had a manly figure there to tell them what it is. Right. He didn't give a damn if you felt like getting up, cutting the grass, or uh, taking out the trash, or doing uh, uh, housework. He told you get up, you are gonna do it. Mm -hmm. it, it that's and that's if you had manly figures around you that. I don't give a damn if you like it or not. You're going to get up and do it. And then you'll begin to like it like on a Karate Kid. He's doing the wax on, wax off. He hated doing it, but it, it taught him something on the end. Go ahead, huh? Verse 14, it reads, Let go from the mortal thoughts. Ooh. Cast away the burdens of man. <laughs> Put off now the weak nature. Ooh. And that's important because when, when the scripture is talking about putting off uh, mortal thoughts and casting off the weak man, those are the the temperaments and the ideals that, that are in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, one, one of the things Jake needs to put off is that uh, that weak, effeminate spirit. Ooh, man. That's right. yeah, that's the, right. the, the Lord is a manly power. He's a, he's a, a, a man of war, Ooh. as the scriptures say. So, so it would stand to reason that those coming in the stead of Yahweh Shai are like-minded individuals. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Jake is easily offended in this thing, man. Mm. And you're worried about the wrong things. <laughs> Okay. Right, but Yahweh Shai said offenses must come right. and woe unto him, which means affliction, destruction unto him by whom they come. So if you offended, get the hell out of here, man. It's what you offended at, you the one that messed up with the Lord. You the one that fucked up, man. So why are you offended? When you when your children get their ass whooped, they, they can't be mad at you for, for doing something that was wrong against their parents' uh, uh, orders. Right. Child can't be mad at the parent. And then after after the, the ass over the child come, I'm sorry, you know, that's what we're doing right, right now. Right. Same with a, 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 a soldier or a captain. He's going to be hard on his men. He wants them all to survive the war. So you got to be hard on them. Remember when the, the scene where the, the nigga died in training? Oh, he's, like, he's like, you stupid? Yeah, yeah he's like, you stupid, stupid fuck. fuck. Oh, you stupid yeah. fuck. All, you had to do, all he had to do was follow, follow orders. orders. Yeah, yeah, follow orders. Yeah, he was dead and shit. He's right. yelling out of his shit. But he was dead because he, he, he was fucking scared and, and tripping and didn't. Take orders. 
and didn't listen all to me. Go ahead, huh? Uh, verse 15, it reads, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, Ooh. and haste thee to flee from these times. For that, yet and that goes into the history. So like it, that goes into the history where uh, going back to the time of Gideon, the Lord knew there was fucking a lot of cowards out there. They was just out there with the shields, just showing like they was manly. Nigga, you scared in your mind. The Lord knew it. I mean, send these clowns home. Right. They don't really want to be out here. Mm -hmm. uh, do guys think about his weak wife? Hey, tell him to go home, uh, deal with her for a year, have some children so he don't die in the battle and don't leave nothing. And oh, this guy you want to deal with his land, tell him to go home. Or that guy you want to do that, tell him to get out of here. I need the men ready for the battle that's at hand. That's right. And that's exactly what you see with brothers in Great Millstone from our apostles and elders on down. The, and their elders before them was was boxers and fighters and real men. Right. Man, they was on that weak ass bullshit, man. Yeah. Go ahead, huh? It says, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. <laughs> man, and that's oh, a man, war. That's a yeah. war gets more fucking brutal. The the closer it gets to one of the sides losing. It go to hand to hand, and you in the you rolling with the motherfucker. He trying to kill you. You trying to kill him. You can't be like, you can't freeze, cause the dude on the other end, he got an intent to kill your ass. You gotta have deadly intent to kill him. But if you stop and you get a feeling, I don't know, and you thinking about it, your ass is already dead. You know you can't you can't be weak. I don't I don't. What the hell are you talking about? You see everybody else have a pickaxe and they getting to work. Do the same thing you see. Stop trying to question every goddamn thing. All right. Go ahead, huh? Can you read that last verse again, bro? Come on. Second Edges, chapter 14, verse 16. It reads, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. hereafter. So, so here it is. We're entering into the time like never before, Jacob's trouble. And you're bugging out over a thumbnail. <laughs> you're bugging out over our language. You know, you're, you're bugging, over, bugging out over how we look. You know what I'm saying? Like, really consider the things that, that are, that are uh, plaguing you in the mind as opposed to the things that we're about to come into, man. Mm -hmm. Like, is that really important in the grand scheme of things? You know, the, the, the men that were set up were set up in their stead for a reason. Mm -hmm. you, you have to come into this thing with the mindset that there are no coincidences. So, so if there's somebody that was set up before you in the spirit, that's especially been doing this work diligently for years on end, then, then he's put in that position for a reason. It's the experience. Right. right. Experience right. is the is the best teacher. Yeah, right? Imagine right. coming to a job and you question the dude been there thirty years. He looking at you like what the fuck? <laughs> and then you get your stupid ass hurt and now you out of the job or dead because you didn't listen. It, it goes to show you at the, at the job we work. You can, I can't go in there and, and talk to these brothers been there years like man, you don't know what the hell you doing, man. I gotta be the one to learn. But but you dudes that that come into these uh, uh camps or or just listen. You don't even know how the battle is fought. You don't know what the fuck is going on. You don't know who the enemy is yet. And you talking to your comrades, yelling at them while we're trying to fight the enemy and, and, and talk to your ass, man. Hey, to your point, that, that that's that's more so likened on to somebody that's not even in the army trying to tell the, the people that are in the squadron how to march yeah. and how to line up. Yeah, how to shoot. The scriptures say that all <laughs> things be done decently and in order. If you that's are right. not part of a camp and you're not even affiliate and you're out there by yourself, you should be doing more listening than than, than uh, teaching. Yeah. To be honest. You supposed to report to the uh to the uh, to the battlefield. This dude at a at a river someplace, just out there like scouting out the land, but you ain't a scout. You supposed to report to the camp where the captain and all the soldiers is in their tent sleeping, ready for the battle that's at hand for the next day. You just somewhere like, but I'm a soldier too. He ain't even with the army though. You, he's like behind us from uh, what, 300. Yeah, the artists and shit. You leading the damn enemies to, to attack us. You ain't even in, in the fight, but but you like them because they gave me a uniform. No, you you like you like the uh uh, uh you like the uh, the other guys because they gave you a uniform. Yeah. Right. That's all you wanted. That's a uniform. Go ahead. Right. Yeah. Last verse. It says, "For look." How much the world shall be weaker through age, Ooh. so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. Now that look, consider how that long was, ago that was written. Oh, and here we are man. in Babylon the Great. You know we're we're in the final prophecies. So that's how much more the weak the uh, the world and the men are as far as their their temperament, man. Weakest, right? This is the weakest we've ever been as a nation. Yeah. Okay, in stature and in mindset. Mm -hmm. So these are right. things you need to keep in mind when you come into this truth, man. Yeah. Uh, oh, and also, didn't, didn't the apostles have a saying where it says, uh, "Strong men bring uh, good times, and good times, good times uh, produce uh, what weak good men, weak men like and that. then yeah, weak good. men bring uh, bad times bad or some times. shit like that." So, 
it's uh oh, go ahead. It's, uh, hard times make strong men. There it is. Strong men make good times. Huh. Good times make weak men. Woo. Weak men make hard times. So you mm. weak ass Message. niggas. Uh, is making these hard times come. And yeah. it said more evils is going to come than we've seen. That's right. They happen hereafter. But So you got to soldier right. up. Hey, and that's yeah. exactly uh, what these other nations is doing. They seen these fucking boy band shit. And they're like, what the fuck is going on? We got to beef up and man up our men again. Yeah. And that's what these other that's nations outside yeah. Babylon are doing. Yeah. They getting rid of all that fucking faggoty bullshit, boy bands crap. And they're like, you know, you need to get beefed up. War is coming. Right. And that's exactly on the minds of all the, the nations. Is war. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing. The Lord has been beefing us up for this battle that's that's coming. First, mental. Then it's gonna be spiritual. Then it's gonna be physical. That's right. Go ahead, right. Uh, this is the book of First Timothy, chapter five, and verse one. It says, "Rebuke not an elder, entreat him as a father, huh. and the younger men as brethren." Woo. And that's the point, man. Because uh, as brothers is going into, you here it is. You you are a. Uh, uh, a newborn babe, so to speak. You know, you truly don't have the spirit on you. Yeah. But uh, if you did, you you will be counted as a newborn babe, okay? And as the brothers was going into, you have men that have been in here for uh, decades, okay? They know what they're doing. They know what they're uh, speaking about. Mm -hmm. For you to come in and try to uh, uh, offer correction is uh, the wrong spirit, man. Yeah. Okay, you're supposed to look at these men as uh, as, as fathers, mm -hmm. all right? And, and, th and those uh, uh, younger Okay, but still over you as a fellow brethren, man. That's right. And, that, and that's not to say that we're above correction. Okay, but the thing is, especially with Great Millstone, we're very heavy into order. And if that brother did need to be corrected, best believe that it will come with from somebody with more authority than you. That's yeah. Right. yeah that's especially right. considering you aren't even a part of Great Millstone to begin with. Yeah. And you and you you picking at, at things that don't even really matter. Yeah. Like yeah. if the brother's going off in the doctrine or things pertain to salvation or the name of the Lord or his son or whatever, the things that are really important, not no fucking nitpicking bullshit like a woman. Well, I don't like your hair and I don't like this bullshit or the way we speak or like you said, the way we look. Who gives a shit, man? In the, in the battle, you might be covered in the mud. You might be fighting in the fucking terrain in the snow. You might have blood on your fucking uniform from the last battle and shit. You ain't got enough time to uh, wipe it off. Like Barack said, you might be in a foxhole. And you got to go to the bathroom. You got to just piss on yourself yeah. and hold that fucking position. It's not a pretty thing to be in the battle. But we in the battle. And then you mm -hmm. here all clean and shit. And clean as man and mm -hmm. shit. Don't do no work, though. Your ass is clean and, and, and to, spiffy. And to that point, our people aren't in a pretty state. <laughs> this is the lowest we've ever been as a nation. Right. We in right. the gutter, And man. sometimes you need to show it to our to our people's face to let them know the state that we're in, man. <laughs> like those yeah, visual people. Yeah. yeah. We've always been a visual people. Look at people. it. We different, want you to look at it. Different frescoes and busts mm -hmm. and all the mm -hmm. paintings. All throughout our history, we use visualization to, to, to show uh, the things that were going on. Yeah. And us putting thumbnails or adding pictures and screenshots is no different. We're just in a technological age. Yeah. Like the saying goes, I could show you better than I could tell you. Right. We didn't know it, we're going to till, still tell you. It's, it's, it's show a, that visual evidence. Yeah, artistic you know? rendition of everything. That's just how Jake gets down. Mm -hmm. Jake just like seeing stuff. Just like you hear, you might hear about a woman being fine. But you don't know that she fine till you see, see it, though. See? It. see? Yeah. So get the fuck out of here, man. And, you know, it's showing you that uh, there's a lot of people out there, so-called men, that's hasty uh, in their speech. Right. That's right. Well, I had a uh, joke. You're thinking about uh, uh, Three. Uh, 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 a thumbnail, but did you uh, consider what, what the brother was uh, speaking on? No. Okay? okay? Did you just consider what he was uh, 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 preaching about? And then you could come to the understanding on why he chose that particular thumbnail. Exactly. Right? Okay? <laughs> Instead of being hasty in your speech, trying to uh, uh, rebuke, and uh, uh, exalt yourself as some kind of um, uh, self-righteous uh, person. Hey, yeah. what was his main point like about the thumbnail? It was, was his point about it. I guess because it, 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 it was quote unquote provocative. Yeah, you know, that wasn't. What was, what was on? Well, yeah. Oh, talking about the. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And and it went perfect with the brother's lesson. Right. You know? yeah. <laughs> hey, but it, it got you got to see it. Like, oh shit, you got to be like shocked. I gotta hear about this. Just like the signs we have at the camp, it shocks you. Like, whoa! With the, when you seen the missiles, I, the ICBMs or USSR, when you first looked at the camps, you didn't give a shit what what the apostles was like actually saying. You were right. like, what? The, why they got nuclear weapons <laughs> on? And and brothers that paid attention in, in school, you knew what the USSR yeah. was. Oh shit! United Soviets, 
socialist republic. Like, yeah, hey, I knew exactly what that was. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I live in America. You know, the father said it's going to yeah. be destroyed. I was like, oh, man, what can I do? To get so right, not fucking rebuking these men like I don't know what the hell these old guys talking. About. I'm right. just gonna get on there. No, you want to inquire and be like, "Well, what are they talking about?" Yeah. Let me listen yeah. and I fucking say nothing, man. Go ahead. That's the same thing to me. Uh, guys who get so caught up on uh, so-called curse words, man. You so <laughs> caught up uh, hearing the, the uh, f word or, or the s word, but you, you missing the whole uh, message, man. But he got a whole rap so, album at his fucking house. Get right. the hell out of here, clown. And then your your mama. Will tell you get your stupid ass up, dumb nigga, and go get the fucking trash or whatever. She might tell you to do something while cussing, but out of respect for your parents or your mother, or you won't blab to her about nothing. But your blab to men that's actually been in this thing for years, and you ain't got a damn thing to say. Right, man. If you don't want us to curse. You don't yeah, want us to yeah, curse. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know the curse yeah, is. You don't want us to curse. do it in the Las Juan Quadash. That's right. That's right. And you, know, you like, done. Well, that's just a uh, weak ass spirit, man. Yeah. But this is the prophet Isaiah, chapter 46. Get that joke. Again, huh. verse 8. It says, Remember this and show yourselves men. Woo! Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Yeah. And that's the point of this lesson. We're man. bringing it to mind. You know, and, 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 and we're not exempt from this same thing because we're the ones teaching it. That's right. That's right. OK, but we've been put in this position for a reason. And I say that humbly speaking, especially in the times that we're coming into, man. The Lord is calling men into this thing. So what was he? What do you say? Oh, ye men, men I, I call. call yes. Yeah. To the sons, to of, the men. sons yeah. of men. OK, the, the, the Lord is about coming correct, man. That's right. We have to put off that weak nature. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. Verse nine. It says, remember the former things of old. For I am power, and there is none else. Mm. I am power, and there is none like me. Ooh. You, what you going to do to the Lord when he whooping your ass? And especially, the Lord actually told you, don't despise the chastening right. of him. Because you, he's dealing with you as a son. A son is what? A, a young a, a male child becoming a man. Mm -hmm. So it's like, well, you a woman? You fucking female? Man child or whatever? I guess so. I guess you're a fucking female, mangina. Because you you ain't being chastised or or what we're saying to you is really the chastisement of the Lord through words and you can't take it. Nigga squirming. And it's just words. It ain't even us laying our hands on your ass. And in the ancient world, I always say, you lucky this ain't the ancient world because you would be uh, strapped to a post and beaten with with stripes, oh, mother yeah. effer. Yeah. Okay? Of 40 talk. stripes, save mm -hmm. one. <laughs> but, but we just giving you words and you all uh, mm -hmm. shaking and squirming and shit. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'm speaking how the men of the Lord <laughs> yeah. spoke uh, in the ancient yeah. world. Paul said, though I be rude in speech, yeah. but not in knowledge. That's right? it. Why that picture man? <laughs> man, through. Verse, verse through. 10. <laughs> it says, declaring the end from the beginning. Boo! Mm. And from ancient times, the mm. things that are not yet done. That's right. Saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. And I love how the Lord right. said it like that, because the man's like, I'm going to do what I want to do. I don't give a fuck with nobody. That's pretty much what he's saying. I'm going to do what I want to do. Yeah. And I don't give a fuck with nobody. Say. And that's what a man does in his house. He tells his woman, shh, quiet. Children are already, oh, you know, daddy getting, 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 you know, he getting angry. Shit is moving in the fucking, fucking house. Furniture getting thrown. So that's how Lord is. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. This is what I'm doing. I beat my people's ass and yeah, I did it. Yeah, I did I'm going to do it again. <laughs> I'm going to fucking kill two things. Yeah, whatever, man. Yeah, my car two tears in the bucket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, be, I'm beating the Alexa ass so they can get right, right. for this war that's coming. That's, right. that's, what, that's my doing. That's what I wanted. And he bruised you. I was shy. Please, yeah, please him. So get the fuck out of here, man. You know, this is, you guys just don't read. You don't understand. You don't know history. You don't know nothing. You don't even know really? what it is to be a man. And not just any man, but a man of Israel, a man of the Lord. Because you got men in these other nations, but they're clowns. They're nothing. They're weak. They're beasts. They're below us. They're nothing. Like my man Omni Man said. They, they're meaningless. They're nothing. They'll be cavemen without us. And we're meant to be set apart. Con. So, so you bring that out. Go that Job. Job. Con. Then I this is the book of Job, chapter 38, verse 3. And it reads, Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee and answer thou me. So the Lord wanted Job to answer him not with actual words, but in action. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you be crying out when you're going through it. 
And you just be crying out to the Lord, like, oh, why? Uh? You, and then you contemplate, like, damn, why is this happening? Then your actions make you get the hell up, and you just move. Hey, but what's heavy about that is the Lord said, I demand it, meaning Ooh. you have no choice. Yeah. It's like, you want to come to me? You better come correct. Ooh. Stop being a bitch, man. Damn. That's basically what the Lord is saying when you extrapolate through the Spirit. Bro. And I'm not, well, I'm not trying to mince words, man. The <sighs> Lord is a very austere, serious power, man. We just mentioned that. Bruising your house, I pleased him. This is this is a, a crucifixion. And when you go to a doctor and they actually explain what happens to you while being up there, you you cringe you like oh snap but it pleased our power to bruise Yahweh Shai that way so he could be an acceptable sacrifice to bring back the nation beginning with the hopeful elect that's right so get the fuck out of here then the story of Job he, he allowed Satan to destroy uh, uh, Job's body his children everything, everything. Yeah. and then kept that demon right there just yeah. to just to whisper yeah. in his ear and be a yeah. demon yeah. <laughs> hey, with all and, that you, and then he told him yeah. you better Fucking man up. With all that being said, you still told him, hey, shut up, man up. That's right. You know? <laughs> yeah. and, and that's real. Mm -hmm. And we're coming in that same stead of Job. We go through our daily aff afflictions, our different trials and tribulations through the spirit. But we're coming in the, in the mindset that we're going through it for a reason. Gosh, Not right. to be destroyed, but to be refined and build up, man. Right. So so the Lord knows what he's putting us through, but he's not going to put us through more than what our spirits can handle. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Uh, he be working man. Oh, okay. God. Uh, we're gonna bring him out. This is a Hebrew word for man. It comes from the Strong's H thirteen ninety seven, and the Hebrew word is Gabar. Hey, I, but but all all the, all the, all the brews, I want that name, <laughs> but you ain't living up to that name. Right. What does it mean? And brother, about to explain what it means. It goes into being a man, strong man, warrior. Woo! <laughs> is there more? Uh? Yeah, uh, valiant man. Woo! Mm. Valiant. Woo! Pretty much, you ready for the battle. You 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 salivating for the battle, man. You you dang there wanna you like man war is like a like a bad woman. You wanna run right at it. Like, all right, well, I'm ready for this. You gotta look at it like that. You like the apostle said to the to the other apostles under him and, and the elders coming up, he told them, and they didn't understand it at the first, he said, You gotta learn to love and embrace hell. You gotta caress it, like lay with it. And he's like, he's looking at it like apostle, what you talking about? But now you understand, like you actually love it. Especially if you ever been sparring or, or fighting or, or building up muscle, yeah, you tearing your muscles, but yet you you getting you getting progressive. You you getting something actually happening. Yeah, it hurts at the moment, but something is happening there. Right. Go ahead, huh? Okay, that's the point on that. Oh, that was the point? Yeah. Did, did did it mention champion? Uh, uh in that in that word? It might have been in the, the lexicon if I'm not mistaken. I was just in the lexicon. God. And hey, these demons might have took it out. They constantly this shit. But yeah, it, 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 it mentioned, I remember when I went into it, it said a champion. Mm -hmm. Now we know that. Oh, so like, oh, go, it, go ahead. It. Says it says a soldier, though. Yeah. Right. And uh, it gives the uh, an example uh, precept. Uh, blessed is the man who trusted in him, but it's saying blessed is the warrior that trusted in him. Woo! Because you got to on the battlefield, man. Yeah. yeah. It, it, there's yeah. nothing like a man on uh, Saving Pride Ryan. He's like, he's like, he's like, they're killing us out here. He's like, this son of a bitch tried to drown me in the channel. He's like, there's nothing between us and the Almighty. And then, because that's how close to death the men was when they hit that beach. They was like, oh man, what's really protecting us from, from seeing the Almighty, man? But the hand of the Almighty covering you, man, that's right. in, that, in that battle. Beautiful point. Uh, you, have, you was done reading? That? Oh, yeah, that was it. Okay, quick precept. This is uh, 1 Maccabees chapter 2, verse 64, straight Ooh. to the point. It reads, Wherefore, ye my sons, be valiant and show yourselves men Woo. in the behalf of the law, for by it shall ye obtain glory. Woo. You see, he says sons, because we know the Lord is dealing with his men. Bro, inside the elect. And these men, these men hazarded their lives for the law, ultimately for Yahweh Shemel Shai and what he uh, entrusted them with because you gotta remember these are Levites, yeah, and they were like the vid that had to teach the rest of the nation how to be in order. But yeah, you going would you have a damn what Asherite come and tell the Levite, what y'all, why y'all yeah, even yeah, fighting yeah. for the law? They yeah, don't mean nothing. You they would have sliced that fucking dude's head off. What yeah, the hell are you yeah. talking about, man? With, with the quick, man? But yet, you got a guy like this getting mad. But we're that ones actually on the front line fighting, mm -hmm. fighting the enemy. We fucking in his face, we ain't hiding nowhere. Brother, maybe you should march like you, brother. Say you should march like this. Maybe you should, 
they, they <laughs> shut up in the in the heat of the battle, and <laughs> hey, you throwing a motherfucker, you tossing them, you body slamming them. It's whatever you got to do. Like Bruce Lee said, he said, uh, uh, it ain't no fucking rules and shit. The rules of war. Let, let me teach you the rules of war. Like remember uh, Patriot? Yeah. He's like, he's like, but but the rules always. Like, right, let me teach you the rules of war. Hey, you point a fucking gun at him and shit. There ain't no rules really. You got to kill. Hey, they're trying to kill us. Yeah. And we're trying to kill them. You know, that's that's, that's it. But but in the too. right, right. But in the spirit though, we cutting down our enemy like like without without flaw. Yeah. All gas, no brakes. Like Jake said, we coming at this motherfucker without stopping. But you got some clown too. Please don't. Don't kill him like uh I did a video and I used Achilles when he was getting his armor and stuff on and he was about to ride out. Old girl was like, mm. please, Hector's my cousin, he's a good man, please don't fight him. He's like, rope. And he's like, fuck, yep. they rolled out and fuck that, man. Yeah. And he is a warrior, he's riding out to get his enemy. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, Doc. Yeah, you bring that second Timothy boy. Okay. This is uh the book of Second Timothy, chapter two, verse three. And it reads Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. What does endure mean? It means to make hard. So the Lord is making his men hard. And I know you brothers on uh, Saturday brought out um you brought out uh pretty much uh going into the house of mourning, and it said that maybe your countenance might look sad, but your 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 wits is being made like yeah, strong. You understand it in the sharp. That, yeah. There it is, That's bro. The the, uh, though the outward man perish, the, the inward, inward man, man is renewed day by day. So so it's like the things that the Lord has taken us through. Yeah, it hurts and looks awful from the outside looking in, but it's actually doing something to us. Like mm -hmm. the brother said, it's changing the inner man into what the Most High wants. Verse two. The hell okay. what the outer man is doing, niggas. You want to floss and act like they got money, nigga? You got somebody else's fucking money with his face on it, and you think you floss? Hey, man, shut up. We getting rich spiritually. Right. That's, that's right. what you need boasting that the, our righteousness is of the Lord, right. ain't of our own merit. Go ahead. That's right. Uh, jumping up to verse two. We start at verse two. Second Timothy chapter two, verse two, and it Ooh. reads, "And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses." The same commit thou to faithful men Ooh. who shall be able to teach others also. Yeah. And how do you teach? First by experience and then by uh, uh, years of that experience. Yeah. Because right. it's like you, you got to put yourself in there. You got to get into it. I've been doing this for this many years. You're a professional after seven years of doing a certain thing. And then you live it out. And then you got experiences yeah. with it. And then you got words of encouragement for, for those coming after you. Like, nah, you don't want to go this way. Hey, you want to do it like that? You want to do it like this? And 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 an uh, actual uh, person that was raised right, they'll they'll like like this brother's uh, pops. I always tell him, hey, yeah, thank you, sir. Hey, you have a good one, sir. Like, because he's letting me know something that I didn't know. I ain't can't be like he don't know what he talking. That's fucking rude and disrespectful as hell. And in the ancient world, your ass would have been fucking put to death, stoned. You know. So apply so, that same respect, but coming into the truth. Come right? on, man. How much more so should you reverence? The men that have been set up over you. And they've been set up not by themselves, right. but by the Lord, by Yahweh Shemashah. And like uh, when uh, uh, fucking Miriam and Aaron was getting at Moses. Moses say no, he's me. He's all right, man. And the Lord was like, man, man. three of y'all come to the tabernacle. Man. But he got on that fucking woman because that really made the Lord hot more. than ain't there. It's a weaker vessel. And you try to get at my, my servant Moses, I'm speaking, I'm dealing with him directly. Right. And Aaron already knew, like, damn, we fucked up off top. He knew. <laughs> yeah. He's like, please don't lay this sin upon us. I look. Heavy, you know? So you fucking clowns out there don't understand that. We're connected to the Lord. The prophets were greater than the kings. They go right. up to the kings and curse the nigga out like, nigga, you ain't coming off that bed. You're going to die. And the dude would surely die. Yeah. Prophet's still moving around. Because like, mm -hmm. right. he's dealing directly with the Lord. That's right. The king right. supposed to deal with the nation, right. but you ain't supposed to fear the people. That's why Saul lost his crown. Because he feared the people. David trusted in the Lord. Even in the midst where his men wanted to stone him, he went directly to the Lord like, man, I got to go to the Lord with this one. This is too much for me to, to handle. He girded himself up like a man, his loins, in his, in his mental. He went directly to the Lord like, what, what are we going to do? The Lord's like, go and get everything back. You're going to get it all. Don't even worry about what they talking about. <laughs> they, was, they was emotional at that at that moment. But they, they had to man up and go fucking get their women and children yeah, and the sure, things sure. back right. and fucking kill the Amalek, the enemy. So you, you got to have that same sentiment. Like everything is going to be fine. Just trust the, process. trust the process. That's it. Verse three, it reads, Thou therefore endure hardness 
as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Woo! <laughs> Bro, it reminds me of that scene on Saving Fire Ride where he hit the beach, everything was going slow, and he put the helmet on, and one dude was yelling at him, and he couldn't hear at first. He's like, he's like, He's like, what? And he's like, huh? sir, what the hell do we do now, sir? And he's like, oh, he's like, anywhere from here, get the hell out of here. And he he waited for his commander to tell him where to go. The Lord, Yahweh Shai, is our captain that's and finisher right. of our faith. We wait for his command. Fuck some low-level clown nigga that's shaking, calling on his mama and shit, and he ain't even fired the gun. Everybody else out there duking it up, fighting the shit. They looking at him like, what the fuck he over there hiding this shit for? That's you guys talking all this madness, man. Yeah, we following men who follow Yahweh. That's God, that's it. it. That's it. Because it's not it's not his that uh, that work and got that experience. Yeah, yeah, these brothers have put in the work for the Lord. These are men set up by the Lord. These are men that we're following because they yeah, follow the Lord. Go ahead, all right. Okay, you want to get that before I continue? I can you can finish that out. Okay, yeah, finish the verse, verse four. four. Okay, oh yeah, it's a soldier in there too. Calm. Continuing in uh, verse four, it reads, "No man that warreth." Entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, Ooh. like what people may think or what people may say. You know, you, you're worried about the the outward appearance mm -hmm. of, of a thumbnail that really doesn't mean anything, man. That's right. You know, you're you're entangling yourselves with the with uh, with this world and what the people in this world think. You know, you, uh, what did the scripture say? Offenses must come. Yeah, mm -hmm. you has know? to come. So yeah, I mean, but you're offended over something that has no consequence, man. And you got to see it, bro. In the ancient world, when a, a nigga or a woman committed both, committed adultery, wasn't they brought out in the midst yeah. of the people where you can see these motherfuckers? Then you stone them and kill them. Or you had a priest, a daughter, was burned in the presence of everybody. Presence of everybody. The whole congregation. Yeah. You had to see it. Like, it was, oh, shit. And that's, like, and that's liking through the spirit on what's happening right now with you. Yeah. Okay, you, you put yourself out there. Now the whole congregation is spying you out. Yeah, drag you out. But man. it's the spirit you're going through this because... <laughs> This is uh, uh, the great equalizer. That's right. This is going to let us know whether you, you know, you're you're going to humble down as a man of the Lord would, mm -hmm. or if you're going to get offended and be a bug out as brothers expect you to be. Because <laughs> when you're going into 2 Timothy, the second chapter, that whole chapter is about an exhortation to perseverance. That's mm -hmm. right. So so this, this is this is a trial of your faith right here. Just right. know we love you. Because this is love. This it may is, not yeah, seem yeah, like it's it to you, love, but it's love. But it's love. Yeah, <laughs> open rebuke is better than secret, secret love. That's right. right. And you are being rebuked openly. So, so we'll, we'll, you know, it's, it's yet to, uh, to see what's going to remain of this, but this is all done for edification through the spirit. That's right. right. Finishing it off, it says that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. Chosen you to be a soldier. The Lord knows you can actually endure the battle. You've been well trained. You ain't a pansy or a damn turncoat. See, the Lord has, has enlisted his men that he know is going to get the work done. Like Barack right, would right. say, you got the whole army and the navy and everybody, but then you got the uh, special forces. Yeah. It'll be like five men landing in a fucking enemy land. Them five men can get shit done without all the goddamn material that the <laughs> army needs. He know, oh yeah, these five dudes, they're going to get in there, get out, take the dude out, the war's over. That's it. That's the men you see. It ain't a lot of us, but the Lord's like, I know they can get it done. I don't need a fucking million goddamn people. He only need 144,000, and that's what's going to take over the earth. Where were you? When the Israelites took over the planet, man. Go ahead, all right? As a Greek word for a uh, soldier. Uh, Strong's G4757. The Greek word is stratiotes. And I'm going to jump straight to the point. It's a metaphorical sense of being a champion of the cause of Hamashiach. Ooh, champion. Yeah. Now we know Goliath was a champion of the Philistines. Hey, y'all, is our champion. And they say you in a gladiatorial uh, fight or game. And you go out there, and it's, it's beautiful because on... Uh, Spartacus, where uh, uh, Spartacus became champion, and Crixus was about to get sold. That that very same day, Crixus was going to be sold. He saved Spartacus's life from that 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 slave that that demon uh, Galaver's wife bought. And he said he said, and, and Spartacus was looking at him like, "Oh shit, Crixus, you saved me." He said, "I did not save Spartacus. I saved the brother." <laughs> and that was beautiful. I was like, "Oh shit." He's like, "I didn't save you for you, champion." He said, "I saved a brother." Yeah, I was like, "That, that was beautiful, mm -hmm. man." So if you're a brother, you'll take this rebuke and, and get right and get right. Yeah. But if you're not, then you're gonna be like that that demon that tried to kill the champion, man. His ass was crucified at the end of that that uh episode, man. Your brother got a closing story. Kind of got the uh that effeminate uh, uh yeah, scripture. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh first Corinthians six and nine. And it reads, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Oh, yeah. Be not deceived, neither fornicators 
nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. I'm going to read it in the modern translation. Don't you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Don't fool yourselves. Those who, indul those who indulge in sexual sin or who worship idols or commit adultery or are male prostitutes or practice homosexuality. You ain't going to get in there. You're doing all these things. But yet the weak ass Christian pagan church will allow all this crap. But no, nah, the Lord is not allowing that. Now you in these things, you better repent or you're going to die. And let's get that word uh, effeminate real quick. We're going to get in and that'll be the it for me, bros. All right, where is it at? Effeminate. The word there in the Greek is <laughs> malakos. <laughs> is it malakos? It says soft with the Ooh, capital oh, T. Shit, well, capital T. Hey. <laughs> soft to the touch. As you've seen in the beginning of the lesson through the screen. <laughs> they soft to the touch. Like, like a little woman, you know, woman got to be soft, right? Yeah, I still, I still <laughs> it said metaphorically in a bad sense. In a bad sense, it says effeminate, a catamite. You know, I, I don't know if that might have to break that down. I don't know what a fucking catamite is. A catamite, is. that's a, a, male, uh, a male, male prostitute. Yeah. Okay, come yeah. uh, Water. A young male prostitute. Damn. The, 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 you, you talking about those Athenians? Those <laughs> boy lovers? Boy <laughs> then it says of a boy Whoa. Yeah, kept yeah. for sexual relations with a man. <laughs> It says, of a male who submits his body to unnatural lewdness. Pretty much, uh, you may not actually be a prostitute, but your spirit is saying, I'm weak. And I'm you showing female tendencies like, oh, don't do that. That's too. That's as you're doing the same thing. Even if you don't do it physically, you're spiritually doing it. And we can see it. Yeah, Men you, a little bit, your man, countenance you, is bearing witness to yep. how you really feel. man. Yep. It says, of a male prostitute. Man, that's it. And I, yep, and I got it uh, real quick in the etymology. It says womanish, voluptuous, tender. So, but it said womanish at the beginning. Now we know ish means pertaining to. So you're, you, you, you're going after the ways of a woman. Because a woman is soft and all fickle and jumpy and all that. Easily offended. You ain't supposed to be that way. You're supposed to like cast it off like ain't nothing. Think logically, not emotionally. So, yeah, that was it. That's all I had. Oh, yeah, that was beautifully put. So, so Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect and to those mm -hmm. that this particular lesson pertains to. That's right. Uh, we want to give all glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakwadash. Once again, double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who rule well. That's right. And peace and salutations to the true brothers that are teaching this word in truth and sincerity and the hopeful elect that's that right. are listening and learning. Until next lesson, Shalom. Shalom. Mm -hmm.